Welcome to Novels Alive, Live the Story, brought to you by Between Your Sheets, for those with a passion for books, and the 7th Annual Jared Butler Fan Convention and Charity Gala. Today's guest is New York Times best-selling author, Kathy Maxwell. Hi there, this is Dana with Novels Alive, and I have New York Times best-selling author, Kathy Maxwell with me. Thank you for having me. This is great. Well, we're just having fun in this room, and and we're just now getting to the interview. Well, I know, right. I know. We have been having a good time. We yes, the, the, it's the interview off the camera that's so interesting, Isn't right? Isn't that true? We need excerpts. I mean, what are they called? The outtakes. Yes, the bloopers. Yeah, they're the bloopers. We need the bloopers. Yes. Absolutely. We Maybe can. we don't. May I have to rethink that? Maybe I don't want those bloopers out there. She was filming me last night in my robe and a towel. We okay, do I don't want that those. blooper. I don't want that blooper. <laughs> no, not at all. So tell us a little bit about some of the books that you've got coming oh, out. Yes, and ones that yes, have yes. I nice. am very excited. I'm starting a, tr- a trilogy that I've named uh, The Chatton Curse. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and these are set, they're set in England and Scotland. During the Regency was the early 1800s okay. in England. Love um, that time period. Exactly. It's a lot of fun. It's It's... Handsome man tromping around in tall boots. I mean, be still my heart. Great horses and women who get to wear long dresses and hide a multitude of flaws. That's I, love I mean, that. isn't that a fabulous and thing? That is a fabulous yes, thing. Yes, exactly. So this is the first book in the Chatton series. It's titled Lion's Bride, and we take the we take the curse from the beginning, and it goes all the way through the three books. Uh, the second one is titled The Scottish Witch, and that will be coming out in November. Oh. Uh, from Avon Books this year, and then in the spring is going to be The Devil's Heart. So I'm excited. I, I mean, when that. you have a trilogy, when you have a really strong idea, it's exciting to work. It's mm-hmm. exciting to work through yes. it, and because people get invested in your characters. Yes, and these characters will carry through. Oh, mm-hmm. excellent. So there is a paranormal feel because of the curse. There is, and but you know, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I've been kind of dealing a little bit with this, is that is a curse a curse because of a paranormal element, or is it a curse because you believe, you believe mm-hmm. that you bring a great belief and therefore it exists? Mm-hmm. And that's and that's the big question, I mean, you know, for all of us. I mean, I think everyone believes a little bit in fate. Oh, absolutely. Yes, and there are so many of us that when we go out, um, you know, we're just certain that that we did well on a job interview and that this is going to come to us, mm-hmm. and just a knowing. Well, is that a paranormal thing, or is it just what should be coming to you? I don't know. And that, and that's probably what you explore in the books. That's as well. part of what I explore about the idea of, of just having the the knowing and the belief, and whether or not it becomes its own self fulfilling prophecy. Uh huh. So you know that old you know let's watch out what we wish for. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, I I love that time period. It just there's such a romantic. There is a romantic feel, but it's also the beginning of the modern age. Mm-hmm. So many of the ideas that we accept as fact now have their roots in this kind of this age of revolution. So um, I think that's what makes it interesting, is having modern ideas and a historical background. It's fun. It sounds like such a good time. And then you've got another a re-release coming out Yes. Well. Uh, well, actually, I have a very busy summer because right now um, in the month of May, I'm sorry, in the month of April, we're re-releasing When Dreams Come True, which is a book mm. I wrote 15 years ago. It's a standalone, and it's great, it's great fun, so it's, it's great to visit a classic book. Uh-huh. Then, at the, end, at, at the end of May, beginning of June, I have an e-novella that's coming out. Um, the theme is just a soldier. We, I was told to write about a soldier in any way I wanted to, uh-huh. and it's with Lynn Hinton and Candace Terry. Okay. So I have these two other authors, so that's going to be an e-novella coming out. And then in July, Pockets re-releasing uh, a book I wrote for them a decade ago, and that it's called, it's titled In a Moonlit Garden. So it's wow. been one that's been hard to find. I know, I feel very busy. You I feel, do. And it's because you're so successful that all of these are being re-released. They're not going to re-release something. Well, that's it's... very kind of you to say it. No, I'm, and I'm, I'm excited because I, you know, we're always bringing in new readers to this genre, uh-huh. and it's nice to be able to have books that have been out a long time ago brought back to life. Well, absolutely, and it's been a thrill to have you here. Thank you so much. And this is fun. This is fun. Mm-hmm. Thank you.